Hey guys, Randy from Pete's RV here today. Another quick tip segment for you. This segment is gonna be for our dry campers out there or the people looking to get a little bit more longevity out of their batteries. So hooking up a couple batteries on uh, to your 12 volt uh, supplied camper. Um, so what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna hook up two batteries in parallel. So we'll have two 12 volt batteries to provide power to our camper so we can use it off the grid for a little while longer. Um, first thing you wanna do when you're hooking something up in parallel is figure out which is positive and which is negative on your batteries. This is very important for us. And the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make yourself some jumper wires or you can purchase these at an automotive store or um, we can make them for you here at Pete's RV as well. So when we're hooking something up in parallel, we're pretty much going positive to positive and negative to negative. Um, and back to the jumper wires that I just talked about is we wanna make sure the jumper wires that we use are gonna be equal or a greater gauge than the wires that are on the camper. If we use wires that are too small, now our wires become the fuse rather than the fuse that we have inside the camper to protect this coach. Um, so a smaller wire could actually heat up and melt where a larger wire will not. So we wanna make sure that those wires are the appropriate gauge. So we're gonna go ahead and put these batteries up here on the camper, show you how to hook them up in parallel, give you a little bit more longevity out of those batteries when you're dry camping. All right, so here we are on the front of our Bullet Premiere that we have here in the Burlington, Vermont location showroom. I'm doing this uh, video today without battery boxes, which we would usually install on here to protect the batteries, but a little bit easier to see it uh, when shooting the video, so we're gonna leave those out today. So what I've done is I've situated my batteries on the A-frame here. This uh, unit is set up to take two batteries, and I've got my ground wire and my positive wire that normally feed the camper on a one battery setup. Now you can always tell your ground wire because it's gonna be hooked to the A-frame or to the chassis of the coach, and that's how we achieve ground throughout the coach. So I know this wire is my ground wire because it's hooked right here to the A-frame. This black wire here is gonna be my positive wire because it goes back to one of the re self-resetting breakers on the front of this camper. So I've hooked my battery to the positive, and I'm gonna take this ground wire and I'm actually gonna hook it to the negative on the opposite battery. That way we're pulling both of these batteries down together. If we hook them both to one, chances are the second battery is gonna be pulled down at the same rate as the first battery. Another important thing when you're doing a setup like this is to use batteries purchased at the same time. If you use one older battery and one newer battery, you're only as good as your lower battery and that's gonna shorten uh, your battery life. So make sure the back batteries are equal and purchased at the same time and they start out fresh. So I've got the negative, the positive hooked to the positive over here on the battery, which is gonna be kind of hard to see there, but I can see it here. I've got the negative hooked up here. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is hook up another positive wire from the positive of this battery to the positive of this battery. We can go ahead and put our nuts on now. Lock that down there. I'll put this guy on here. Good idea to snug these up pretty good and make sure that the terminals uh, are very clean and the battery connections are very clean on your wires as well. Um, that way you're gonna get a, um, the best voltage you can have supplied to you. Now I'm gonna set this one over here to the negative. Turn it around a little bit easier to hook it up for us. I'll put that nut on there. Tighten that down. I'll go back and snug things up later with uh, one of my wrenches. I'm gonna hook this negative here. So now we have just successfully hooked these two batteries up in parallel. So it's gonna give us 12 volt supply to the coach and gonna give us a lot more longevity when we are using this camper in a dry camping situation. Now these batteries will be charged while we're driving down the road. If you've got an appropriate charge line in the truck, that's the best way to charge these batteries. But there's a simple parallel hookup, positive to positive, negative to negative. Make sure you put your positive from the trailer on one battery your negative from the trailer on the other battery. That way they will desell at the same time and make sure your batteries are purchased at the same time. We've always got discounted pricing here on batteries at Pete's RV Center so we can take care of you in that regard as well. So there it is in a nutshell, parallel wiring, two 12 volt batteries. This will get you where you need to go on your dry camping. Thanks again for watching Pete's RV with Randy today and uh, come see us on our Facebook page. Check us out on YouTube as always. And once again, thanks for thinking Pete's RV and happy camping.